hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to convert a data table to power fx table and then filter data in power fx table desktop flow so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in today's video we are going to work with this excel file since my excel file is already open and from here I will choose attach to running excel here I will choose the file name excel instance will be stored in the excel instance variable I will click on save after this I will use this read from excel worksheet to read the data from the retrieve I will choose all available values from worksheet in the advanced I will choose first line of range contains column names and then all the data will be stored in the excel data data table variable i will click on save now i will use set variable to convert a data table to power fx table so here i will name it as power fx table and now i will use equals to then i will use this function which is table and here i will specify the data table variable I will close the bracket and then click on save and now I will run the bot. Here you can see that the execution has been completed and now we have 10 rows and 7 columns. Now I will check this variable which is powerfx table and here you can see that it is a list of custom objects right and here we have this entire data. Correct. Now let's say I want to filter this data. To filter the data, what I will do is I will again use this set variable. I will name this variable as filter data. And then here I will use this equals to filter. And here I will specify the variable which is powerfx table right and then i will give a comma now i will type this record dot value and then dot after this i will specify the column name so column name is going to have this single quotes around it because my column name has a space so i will use role in company equals to then in double quotes I will specify the value consider that it is analyst I will close the bracket and then I will hit enter now I will run the bot now I will check filter data table variable and here you see that we have two rows right I will check the file here you can see that we have only two rows where role in company is analyst right now consider that I have to write this data in the excel file right so what I will do is I will use for each loop and here I will choose filter data and then I will go to excel here I will add a new worksheet I will name it as new worksheet data and the worksheet is going to be in the last of the existing worksheets I will click on save now I will use get firstly column or row in excel worksheet I will click on save after that I will use write to excel worksheet and here what I will do is I will use this current item dot value right and here I will use first column and row is going to be first available row so first three row minus one I will click on save now what I will do is I will just move this action out so that it does not add 
worksheet again and again right now I will run the bot I will check the excel file now here you can see that it has written the data only once so I will just delete this worksheet why that has happened it's because we have used minus one so I will just remove it click on save and then I will run the bot here you can see that bot has written those two rows now we need to write the column right so first of all I will right click on the sheet and delete it sheet has been deleted in power effects enable desktop flow it is not possible to get the column names right for example if I use this set variable right and if I try to get the column names you will see here that excel data is not giving any property right that is because we are working in power effects enabled desktop view. but there is a workaround right so what you have to do is you have to copy this code right so here we are setting the variable which is named as column names and then we are assigning the value which is excel data dot column header slow dot column names right so what i will do is i'll just copy it and then i will go to power automate desktop and then here i'll just paste it which is control v you can see a new variable has been created with column names now what will happen is we will get a list of column names right so i'll just put a breakpoint here and then i will run the bot now here you can see that execution has been completed and we have got all the column names in the list right now we have to write the data in the first row for that what we will do is we will use this for each and here i will use the variable as column names click on save and after that i will use this write to excel worksheet here i will use current item 2 and then here i will specify the row as 1 and column is going to be a dynamic value right so i will just specify 1 and before that i will add get first free column or row and i will click on save and here in the right to excel worksheet i will use first free column then I will click on save so this code has to be executed after adding a worksheet right so I will drag this add new worksheet above this for each now what I will do is I will use this delete column from excel worksheet action to delete the first column after writing the column names right so I will put a breakpoint to show you why we have added this delete column from excel worksheet i will run the bot execution has reached to the breakpoint now i will check the excel file and here you can see that we have this first column which is empty and this is the column which we want to delete now i will click on run next action column has been deleted I will check the excel file here you can see that that column has been deleted now I will click on run so that it can write on the rows board execution has been completed we'll check the excel file here you can see that we have been able to write the filtered rows here So this is how you can filter the data in PowerFX enabled desktop flow using filter function. If you like this video, please click on the like button and please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any question, please post it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.